for the 2 billion people living on less than $2 per day, a drinking water filter just needs to remove pathogens like bacteria and parasites. And that is important. However, every day, new chemicals enter the water supply. That's pesticides and lead, landfill leachate, mining runoff, arsenic. Across the world, emerging toxic chemical contaminants like these are leading to public health crises as severe as HIV AIDS, tuberculosis, and even malaria. You think of lead in, in Flint, Michigan. Why was that such a problem? Because it's really hard to remove. And what removes arsenic doesn't remove lead. And so there was Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. And then we had two big earthquakes in Mexico. We were seeing people ship in bottled water to deal with these crises. We designed a ceramic water filter for our own projects in central Mexico for rainwater harvesting projects to remove pathogens and bacteria from the water because there was no good solution locally. A lot of different organizations wanted this filter, but it wasn't uh, easily adaptable to containers. They had to glue it into a system and it would take a couple weeks to dry. And we wanted to create something that was easy to use for anybody anywhere. And so that's how we started developing Aguadapt. We had it certified and we started shipping it out to other organizations throughout Mexico. As we were designing this filter to be easy installed and be used in disaster contexts, we are also thinking about how can it also be adaptable to new emerging chemical contaminants. We developed these cartridges and the universal adapter system that allows Aguadapt to adapt to different sort of chemicals. So for us in Central Mexico, we can adapt it to arsenic and fluoride, but in Southeast Asia, they can adapt it to uh, pesticides or herbicides and things like that. Because all waters are different, Aguadapt puts the tools of water treatment in the hands of local organizations who best understand their context. Let's create a world where anyone can innovate a filter so that everyone can have access to clean water. Thanks very much. My show has been a really great experience so far. I've had a lot of great support with Catapult Design, helping with our user manual and having some illustrations that we can use to really make it simple for users to install the Aguadapt in their containers. We've also had financial support, which has helped us to really grow our operations and be able to work on more of our outsourcing of our ceramic filters. Interacting with manufacturers has been something personally that's new for me and so it's been a challenge to make sure we're asking all the right questions and it's been great to be able to talk to experts uh, at iShow. The future of Aguadap is to create a private entity that will do all the production and distribution. A good portion of all the proceeds will go back into the social enterprise, into Caminos de Agua, to fund our projects in central Mexico and throughout Mexico on different water systems. El agua es vida. Y si no hay agua, pues no hay vida. Aguadap provides a positive social impact. We've collaborated with folks in South and Southeast Asia and in East Africa. Emerging chemical contaminants are a growing problem everywhere. We think it can be an incredibly impactful technology all around the world.